major part of the agricultural development in River State is the processing of the farm produce. Now I'm here at the Songhai Farm Initiative where rice, cassava, palm oil and soya and various types of fruits are processed and then sold to the public. Perhaps the most popular agricultural project in the state is the Songhai Rivers Initiative Farm, a partnership with the River State Government and the Songhai International Centre from Benin Republic. The centre is an integrated farm that encompasses the production, development, research and training of sustainable agricultural practices, which the state is developing as a hub of agricultural development in rivers. Located on 314 hectares of farmland, this project aims to support the government's efforts towards food security and job creation through the promotion of commercial farming and enterprise development in the rural communities, the research in new agricultural techniques and the development of agro-tourism in the state. So what we are seeing here, it is a purely a spirit, you understand? So we have many farmers around the world, but the way we have many farmers, fa farmers around the world, but the way this farm is designed, the way this farm is managed, the way this farm is dragged, we, we are dragging this farm, it is different. And uh, it, it, when, when you see it, Rivers is uh, the number one state where we have implemented the new model, the new model of Songhai. This project was born after the state governor, Rotimi Amechi, visited the Songhai Center in Porto Novo, which was set up 31 years ago as a center for sustainable agricultural practices, combining local indigenous knowledge and business and research institutions. Coordinators say that the Songhai model is unique in that it is an incubation center which comprises of a technology and industrial park and a production center where techniques and ideas are turned into enterprises and several different production activities. In the last three years, Songhai Rivers has grown to 20 times the size of its parent in Porto Novo. The model Songhai Farm is an integrated farm where you have primary, secondary and tertiary sectors. So, we, 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 you know that in, in Africa, the, 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 what, you know that in Africa, what miss is, uh, is uh, the, second, the secondary sector. In that secondary sector, we need to develop it in order to, in order to save the harvesting post. You know, we are producing, our farmers are producing, but the only thing is that uh, we lost a lot of, and the Songa is developing that area. Developing that area and developing the primary sector by new technology of farming. New technology of farming means what? Means that we are harvesting around the world the new technique the new technique. When, where somebody is producing on one hectare two tons of corn with the new technology. The Songhai Center has several features that make up the integrated farm. But the first that catches the eye is the large structures that house the administrative and hospitality buildings. Behind these walls are staff houses and student dormitories and an administrative block that houses a library, a conference hall, classrooms and laboratories, and a mini market and restaurant that sells their produce. Units of small bungalows create a resort atmosphere and are made available for visitors who come to see the center. People are thinking that a farm is uh, like uh, the last thing that we can do in the world. So it's not the last, that's number one. It's why the new model of Songhai is taking any new farm of Songhai as a green rural city. A green rural city means we are producing a lot of, but in the same time, we must create some facilities that will give a taste like you are in the city, like you are in London, you are in Port Harcourt, or you are, you are in Abuja. So any guest coming here must have his taste. Well, the natural environment is there to create, to give them a good briefing. Surrounding the center are farms which grow different crops that are later sold in the local markets. The long list includes a vegetable garden that stretches over five hectares and produces tomatoes, cabbages and carrots. The farms also produce medicinal crops like moringa and bitter leaf and fruits like watermelon and pineapple which are then processed into juice and waste materials used as animal feed. 
But behind these buildings and small farms lies a vast land where crops like cassava, maize, soya beans, rice and plantain are farmed. The center integration is brought together by its industrial park, where value addition and machinery support centers are located, among several features which include a cassava processing unit, a rice mill, a juice, jam, syrup, pastry and soya milk production unit, and fruit drying unit, the park also provides a machine production and maintenance unit. Its production center comprises of piggery pens, which contain over 200 pigs, and a cow and goat ranch that trains students on how to manage livestock products, boiler pens and poultry houses, almost 50 fish ponds that produce 1,000 tons of tilapia and catfish every year, and several man-made lakes which support aquatic programs. This unit also consists of several supporting units such as nursery pens, a snailery park, greenhouses and a maggotry unit. This initiative has linked itself to six other regional farm centers who will replicate the new methods that are developed at the Songhai Center and at the same time bring the technology and practices closer to the people of River State. The training aspect is up. You know, we need to secure food. We need to secure food in the world, mainly in Africa and in Nigeria. So the, the, the training is to make more and more people to learn agri. Because since we are eating, we need to know how to produce. We need to have some skills. And, 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 and when we have those skills, when you produce, I produce, other people are produced, that make a larger area, a larger volume of production. It is why it is very important that we are harvesting, we are dragging many people to commit in, 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 in production, to commit in, in farming. But one of River State's greatest and more recent achievements in its agricultural sector is reviving one of its oldest and most profitable projects, the Rizon Palm Plantation, which has been in existence since the 70s but deteriorated due to neglect. At the time the fortunes of the company began to lose dive and then it became a shadow of itself. Um, the workforce, the large workforce that it was known for by way of employment was no longer there. The beauty that the plantation was known for you know completely um, uh, went away. It became a forest and then it became, it became, in fact, a place, a hideout for criminals. That was what the estate was before the governor came. Uh, but even, like I said, before the governor came, in the late 80s, 90s, early 90s and thereabout, he had his own very good stories to tell. Uh, like many Nigerian investments before it began to go down. And when it began to go down, it went down almost irretrievably. Uh, to the point that people forgot that anything can ever come out of it again. And he was like, okay, let's just allow it and then become the forest that it had become before this governor came. And when this governor came, he, he asked questions. And the question was, how did this estate get to this? How did Rizom Palm that everybody in Nigeria knows about get to this? And we dis discovered that it had a management problem. That management problem was because and government was allowed to be involved in business. The state government leased out the farm for 35 years to Belgian company Siat in January this year, giving it the Herculean task of reviving the 60,000 hectare palm plantation, rebuilding its processing mills and getting the plantation to be fully operational by the end of this year, a task which Siat says was no easy feat. It is not revived yet. Uh... I think we're talking uh, right now maybe four or five billion naira to start reviving and uh, we will still have a lot, of, a lot to spend because we have to replant the entire plantation in the next 10-15 uh, years. So uh, it is another uh, big investment to, to carry on. Under SIAT, the company currently produces 9,000 tons of oil palm bunches per year as of May 2012, which are shipped off to Edo State where they are processed and exported. However, like its other projects, Reason Palm is currently generating 4,000 jobs in the community and is expected to generate even more once the project is complete. 
Now this ginger juice is one of the good examples of the finished products that come out of River State's agricultural projects. And I must say, it tastes really good. Well, unfortunately, that's all we have for you on this edition of Iron Rivers. Of course, feel free to contact us at www.abndigital.com if you have any comments or questions, or you can catch up with us on our Facebook page, Iron Rivers. Till next time, goodbye.